Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reedy with Future Pastimes. I'm a designer on Dune expansions for the Gale Force 9 edition of Dune. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Thumper, which is a treachery card that is part of the Ixians and Tleilaxu expansion. One of the new treachery cards. So it's a special. And uh, I'll talk about what it does and how it was designed, I guess. Uh, so... You play it at the start of the Spice Blow and Nexus phase instead of revealing the next Spice Blow card. And it's going to cause a Sandworm to appear. And you play proceeds as though Shai Halud has been revealed. So what you do when Shai Halud has been revealed is you actually draw the next card of the Spice Blow deck until you get a territory so that there's a Spice Blow. And then once that happens, there's a Nexus. Now, if um, when you play this, the next territory that comes up, a worm is going to go to that territory. So if there are any forces or spice there, it's going to be destroyed by the worm. If the Fremen are there, they're going to get to ride the worm. And if after playing the Thumper, the next card that you draw is Shai Halud, well, if Fremen are in the game, they're going to get to place that sandworm wherever they like. So... You just treat it like there's a, a sandworm drawn. So it's a nice way to create a nexus if that's what you're looking for. Um, and if your enemies have gone out into the desert, uh, you can play this to uh, have the uh, sandworm show up at that last spice blow. Uh, it's handy for the Fremen so that uh, they know they can get there and they know that the sandworm's going to be drawn if they go to the last spice blow. So it's handy for that. Uh, although a lot of times... This is a card that you don't necessarily want to have in your hand, but you've bought it. Uh, or maybe it was dealt to you at the beginning of the game, but um, you can play it uh, instead of drawing that Spice Blow. Um, wouldn't be able to play this in the first turn. So if you are dealt the Thumper, you're kind of stuck with it for that turn because uh, you're going to ignore it. I suppose you could play it. Uh, I, think we, I guess we would allow that. You can play it, uh, but then nothing happens because... Um, any worms drawn in the first turn are just shuffled back into the deck. So you would basically just be punting. Uh, but yeah, instead of, yeah, it doesn't say anything on here about after turn one, which uh, we, occasionally we do. So yeah, it was um, part of our formula for maintaining the ratio of weapons and defenses and worthless cards and specials when we were adding in the new cards. We do need, we did need to have some specials. Uh, in there, and so Thumper was one of them, um, and yeah, this this has definitely come in handy uh, a number of times, so like I said, sometimes you get it, it's a, you are probably hoping for a weapon or defense or some, you know, a Karama card would be great, um, so the Thumper is one of those cards that, uh, it's not a worthless card, but sometimes it feels like, uh, something you didn't necessarily want, um, uh, when I'm playing with the Ixians, uh, I will often use the Thumper as a technology uh, thing where you put that up there and take the card that's up for bid. Um, and as Rich S, I will sometimes sell the Thumper as a black market uh, sale, and I will assure everyone uh, this is not a worthless card. And, um, you know, maybe get a couple of spice for that. Uh, or, you know, you maybe you don't even say one way or the other if it's a worthless card or not. That's the beauty of being the rich S, especially without certain factions in the game. Like if Chome is in the game or if the Bene Gesserit in the game, they're not too worried about buying what may very well be a worthless card. It's actually pretty good for them. Um, so this is a good way you can sell that one and, and maybe trick people into thinking it's uh, something that it's not. Uh, so... There you have it. That is Thumper. Let me know what you think of Thumper. You know, let me know of any uh, interesting uh, play um, stories that you can share with the use of Thumper, uh, good or bad. Um, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.